We're down here in County Down and Tim said to me, who's Tim, who's climbing on the roof of his own car, by the way. Dude, what are you doing? It's a signal. What's he doing? You may remember my mate Tim from a few other vlogs like the Wire Will one. Anyway, me and him are down today. He's gonna ruin my shot. That's Tim. Today we're down at Bull House because we're gonna be helping him film a little promotional video. And I thought, I'm gonna take this opportunity to film a vlog. So come and check out how cool his brewery is. If you follow my stuff, you'll know that I do attempt to brew my own beer. So when Tim was like, dude, do you want to come down and help me film something for Bullhouse Brewery? I was like, uh, yeah, 100%. So this is the place, and this was an old working Bullhouse in a farm. Hence where he's got the name Bullhouse from. Well, he's been making his own beer from like 2012, and then recently he's just upped the game to have this setup that he's got. But it's quite amazing. So you can check it out here. What's so cool is Willie has like customized this entire brewery himself. This is his mash tun, he's got a huge like kettle there in the back. He's made his own manifold that goes in the back that heats it up and it pumps water from this heater. It's a massive kettle, effectively. And uh, all this comes from like a, a dairy farm. Is that right? Yeah, dairy farm. Willie just asked me what I use to clean all the beer equipment and I was like, fairy liquid? He uses nitric acid. Oh, it's a serious smell of like, it's like chlorine kind of smell from cleaning that. Probably shouldn't have sniffed it. Horrible idea. getting to see the way he sort of puts his whole brewery together because when you're online and you're looking at how to do a brewery a lot of people make you feel like you have to do things a very particular way but Willie's just customized his own brewery to suit the situation that he's in. This is kind of the exact same process you'd get in a large brewery but it would maybe look a little bit different. When you think of like beer brewing, think about the beers you buy, well, I don't know what kind of beers you buy because for years I drank like lager, things like Bex or Harp or any of that sort of stuff and that's kind of what I drank at the start. And then as I kind of got used to beer a little bit more and learned to drink other stuff, I explored the sort of beer I drink. And now recently, I've been finding like drinking a lot of local stuff is so much nicer. And being able to come down here and check out the way that he does it and the way that he makes it is even more impressive. It's just not something you really think about when you consider where your beer comes from. What it does show you is that home brewers are doing things the right way. And what these guys at Bullhouse are doing and the likes of Farmageddon and other companies like that, is a larger scale of home brewing with a lot more knowledge and a, and a lot more kit. But what Tim has done here with his camera, he's just left it on, not really filming anything, and then he'll wonder later why his battery's flat. So top tip for the day, just pop it off, just switch it off the camera. Just checking his Insta story. Your Insta story. <laughs> Get a life. Who's thick walls are retain heat? Science. <laughs> Science there. We've got Gareth from Coatland Gin down as well. He's just here faffing as well. There's three people doing nothing and one guy being watched the entire time. That's what we're doing today. This is the kettle that, that he's using to boil his beer, right? This is the exact kettle that I use to boil my beer. You getting this? If this doesn't make me feel insecure, what does? I said to him, what's that? What's the kettle? What's that thing for? And he says, oh, that's how I dehydrate my yeast. What? I dehydrate my yeast in something like that. Half of that. Mental. Absolutely mental. It's got this cool container outside. This is where he keeps. This is where he keeps his grain. Check this out. This is like a weatherproof container where he keeps all of his grain. Oh my god, that's so heavy. Oh my god. Someone else is going to have to lift this. Well, he's normally just down here making beer by himself in peace and quiet. And now we're all just messing around with his stuff. 
What's it like uh, having a pact with people doing nothing? It's usually a solitary uh, role, but it's quite nice having a bit of company for change. We are going upstairs to see. This is a. What is it going to be? This is going to be. This is basically going to turn into like a welcome center, so people can come up here, chill out, taste some beers, you know, talk about it, learn stuff about the brewery and where it's from. How cool is this place? Work in progress at the minute, obviously, but it's so cool. It's very safe to say that that is definitely a dream room that we'd all like to have. Hopefully, Willie's going to let us try his new beer. I have an Instagram question. Yeah. The other one was like, "What is that sitting on the fence? <laughs> Just his hat." <laughs> uh, thought it was a pheasant. We found the elusive Timbers hat. Rare in these parts. <laughs> I don't know where I found that guy. No idea. He found me. That's the worrying bit. It's from a social media. I've been following you so for years. Social media, like you just can't stop some people. So one of the things we are down here doing today is filming a little promotional video for Willie for Bullhouse Brew. I can't say Willie seriously without giggling. <laughs> that idiot's doing most of it. Should, do we say what it is? No? When's the video going to come out? Whenever I edit it. Okay. It's, it, li it literally takes, I don't know, fuck. Eight years? <laughs> Final. What of you? Yeah? Oh, you can be you. Tim just said it's not often someone's front garden is better than their back garden. But he has a brewery in his back garden. Mm. And I have a bird feeder. What do you have in your back garden? A uh, place where I put my empty bottles. Bottle bin. Bottle bin? In That's your back it. garden? It's an odd place to have a bottle bin. What am I doing with this? <laughs> Take that. I know you, you, it's, it's... Buzzards. He's all, he's all talk until you hit record. And then <laughs> nothing, he's nothing to say when you hit record. I get so nervous. I don't know what to say. I don't, I don't know, because I'm talking. I would really. say that uh, 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 Dylan. <laughs> uh, we're, uh, Dylan's been doing lots of stuff. I've not. Uh, slow mo. Lots yeah. of slow mo. Yeah, I came down to help him film, and I've filmed, and he's not really filmed apart from the drone. Oh, here he comes. Okay, there you go. Done that filming. He's just. Look. He's just left his gorilla pod there. Like, I have to pick this stuff up for him. It's like babysitting. I'll bring this for you. And then it's just gonna go. So we're just making this up as we go. This is actually. See, it doesn't, that, that didn't work because it's, the pour is not with the brain. So. This is actually it. That's it. This is it, That's this it. is it being made. That's all you want, slow-mo. Yeah. This is like when you're watching like Steven Spielberg production and they're like, they're talking about the technical like breeze block that they brought with them. Just to get the shot set up. In his defense, the breeze block is working very well. Yeah, you didn't think of the breeze block, Dylan. Mm, yeah. So the next time, next time we're gonna do a vlog with, with Tim, he's gonna do a what's inside my bag. He's gonna show us his bag <laughs> that contains a gorilla pod and a breeze block. <laughs> sounds, sounds pretty good. Slightly on the heavy side. Uh, you're giving us. Okay, you can crack one in. All right. And I think right, so. We've spent the day faffing around the brewery, getting getting in Willie's way. I'm not sure what he was actually doing. <laughs> really, <laughs> it's like he just comes down. I don't know. I'm faffing, <laughs> and he's doing less. So <laughs> you do the math there. Willie's going to talk us through his new drink. It uh, is called the Dankness. That's right. <laughs> yes, the Dankness. The Dankness. Yeah. And at first glance, I thought it was a. Uh, oh. I thought it was a stout or something, but it's not. So uh, what is it? what is it? So it's an IPA, uh, like a New England style IPA. It's really juicy, aromatic and fruity, but there's a bit too much caramel malt in it. So it's also got a huge malt hit coming through, uh, which I guess makes it a bit more like a standard IPA. Uh, it just won beer of the festival at Belfast Beer and Cider Festival. Sweet, that's so, pretty cool. Uh, I was happy with that, but I'm not 100% happy with the beer. So okay. I'm gonna tweak the recipe. That's but that's not time. this because Willie is, you know, uh, really obsessed about it because you know you're obsessed. Yeah, obsessed. He's yeah. not happy with it, but the rest of the world is. Yeah. So if he's not happy and it won beer beer of the year, 
Beer yeah. of the Festival. Beer of the Festival. Champion Beer of Belfast. Brilliant. Out of 100, 150 beer. beers? 115. Big fan of the small axe. So, it's really, I get a lot of mango okay. coming through. There you go. <laughs> Doing that. Last button. Straight for the tin spot. Oh, man. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot of aroma. World's best beer, I think. <laughs> yeah, on the way. Champion beer of the year, Even global. <laughs> global. Global champion beer. of the Prestige year. Prestige world beer of the year. It is so really it's five and a half percent. You can. There's quite a lot of body coming through because they used a lot of oats. Okay. Uh, and that essentially provides body. I don't know anything about beer, Willie. Either I like it or I don't, and I like it, so it's a winner for me. Whereas I act like I know a lot about beer, but I'm probably like this guy. <laughs> So if you if you can check the graphics out, who does all the graphics in these things? So it's a guy Andy Hamilton who goes under the moniker My Tarpet. Okay. And he's an illustrator from Bangor. Sweet. So what's the five year plan for Bullhouse? <laughs> Jeez, all right. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do with your life? <laughs> no, no, like do you, do you want to do you like the idea of continuing a small a smaller batch stuff? Or yeah, do you I like the smaller. Scale it a lot I like more? being able to experiment and brew new beers all the time. So, but the plan, the big plan, will be to try and get like a brewery with a tap room on the brewery okay and then just That's making good. beer selling it at the tap room and then not having to worry who, uh, about distributing too much yeah just yeah that's it well, is this that's the, the start of the, the start of the competition uh, yeah, is your phone nice. do you just switch he's boasting about the amount of notifications he's just got through facebook why bull house why did it start and what's the passion behind it the passion is making beer that i'd like to drink beer that i couldn't find on the shelf well, I guess over the last couple of years, there's not a lot of English and American beers that you can buy on the shelf here. But a few years ago, you couldn't buy those. So I wanted to brew those beers and bring those styles of beer that Northern Irish people couldn't buy and put them on the shelf for Northern Irish people to try. Cool. Local um, beer for local people. Yeah. Like and nice. Yeah. Uh, trademark. Copy, somebody copyright that. <laughs> <laughs> you don't see how much work goes into like a small local drinks company, be it beer or whatever else. And then once you actually get involved in it, they are working so hard. They're working mm -hmm. 100 hours a week. And when they do, when you walk into a bar and you see someone either picking it off the shelf to buy or to, to drink in a bar, it's massively, it's like, it's literally what you do it for. What's your view on the scene, like the craft beer scene in, in Northern Ireland and Ireland right now? Like, how do you think it's, uh, where do you think it is in its growth uh, platform? It's still, the, it's, it's still here. It's here. It's right down there. Yeah, it's right So here. there's space, there's space for people like me <laughs> yeah, <it's> <laughs> you need to start so making good beer though. <laughs> so I don't, think, I don't, think, I don't think we'll ever. He's get looking it. for an apprentice. You're brilliant. You got it. So if you look at like San Diego, it's quite a s relatively small population, uh, and they have 180 breweries just in San Diego. Wow. We have 30 breweries in Northern Ireland. Uh, wow. The on trade is so far behind. Like s selling your beer into a pub is hard here, whereas oh, to get draft sales, yeah, because He's a big they're, boys, all, it? Yeah. they're all tied to the, the big guys. Yeah, Look, like one of the best pubs for me that I really enjoy, and it won, I think it did not win like Belfast pub of the year, it was um, Sunflower Bar. Because mm. they're, they're like a bar that's like pushing against that. Yeah, they're a free house. Yeah. Yeah. They're yeah. a free house, yeah. yeah. Exactly, yeah. And you go in, and I was actually there recently, and they were, as like midway through the night, they changed the tap. Which is That's amazing. Cool. So, so cool. they literally unless they you were ordered three of the same beer and then you just got. <laughs> but he took he took the little thing That's off cool. the front and he's like, oh, we've just changed that. And I was like, oh, I'll have that then. You know, yeah. and there's that kind of you're always trying something different and it's yeah. Anyway, we're gonna call it there because it's absolutely <laughs> freezing and this oh, guy right. is just he's in a t-shirt. Right. <laughs> so that's the dankness. This has been the Bull House. This is Willie. Thank you for having us. It's been amazing. Thank you. This sprayer has been here again. I'm not sure what he brought to the table, apart from some waffle. Banter. But if you want to check him out, I'll tag him below and you can go buy him some beers. Where's the easiest place? Give me three places. Oh, my hands are so cold. Give me some, some suggestions. Where can we get Bull House today? The Vineyard, Omer Road, yep. Sunflower, and Black Box. There you go. If you do check it out, let me know what you think and uh, give him a follow. Taste his beer because it's awesome. Cheers, man. Let's go. He's I'm filming. He's filming. He's got his drone. He's got all his camera gear. And he's just told me that two years ago he wanted to be a organic farmer. An organic farmer. What happened to that dream? <laughs> oh my god. We're gonna get a beer. <laughs> my car's great. This is literally oh, that's the, one I <laughs> the worst car. Stop! It's the best car! Stop it! 
It's been all over Ireland. It's a great car. What's the date? 18th of January 2001? Yeah, it's well, um, it's in Fre the the warning lights come up in French. <laughs> <laughs> the guy, the mechanic, he like reset it. And he was like, oh, I can't work out how to turn it back into English. So, this can't be legit. Too legit. Too legit to quit.